Okay, this is a tricky text completion. We have our two blanks here. And what's going on? Well, stories are a haunted genre. Okay, haunted stories, interesting. Hardly blank kind of story, the ghost story, which we of course think of as a haunted story, is almost the paradigm of the form. So let's, let's interpret what does that mean, the form here, the paradigm of the form. So paradigm is a, a model, a way of understanding something. And what's the form here? Well, the form is stories. So just so we can kind of take this apart here. Stories from the very beginning. So stories are a haunted genre. So ghost stories are embody stories. They're a perfect example, the paradigm of the form. So hardly a blank kind of story. So we're going for something that's not typical. Hardly kind of the weird, atypical kind of story. Ghost stories are the perfect embodiment here of this, of stories in general. So we can look here, and maybe this will give us enough, maybe not, but let's look at A, a debased. Debase is very negative, it's a strong word. So is it a ghost story, is it a debased kind of story, not your usual story, maybe. A normative story, normative means normal standard, and we're saying it is in a way the normal. When it comes to stories, we want us to look no further than the ghost story to really know what's going on here in this form. So it seems like normative is the opposite. So we can get rid of that, that's good. A meticulous kind of story. Okay, does meticulous mean something that's weird or atypical? Well, no, meticulous just means you pay careful attention. And you're saying that's the opposite of the typical. And that doesn't really work. So we can get rid of that and we're left with they. And so let's not jump to anything in circle A, but let's go to the second blank and see what we have here. And blank was undoubtedly one of the effects that Poe had in mind when he wrote about how stories work. Well, one could jump to the inference that Poe wrote ghost stories, scary stories, but we, we can't assume that. The jury doesn't necessarily want us to know that. But what was one effect that this author had in mind when he wrote about how stories work? Well, if ghost stories are the embodiment, the perfect example of, the letter, of, of stories in general, then some effect of ghost stories is what we want here. So this effect of ghost stories is something that carries over to stories in general. Is it pessimism? When you think of ghost stories, you think, oh, very pessimistic, very negative. Well, no, I think scary. Ghost stories are scary. They give us, haha, goosebumps. Now, you may think, oh, goosebumps, goosebumps is a weird word. They're not going to have that on the GRE. Well, they do, and it works. So it's the answer. Curiosity isn't quite strong enough. I mean, you don't say, oh, I'm reading a ghost story. It's very curious. No, it's scary. It gives you goosebumps. So easy an answer. And now we can go back and say, well, does the base make sense? If we have something that's the standard everyone looks up to, that's a good thing. If something is debased, that's, it's not worthy, it's not at the same level. For instance, the New York Times, that's a, a publication that many people respect. But the tabloids, the National Enquirer, that's a debased form of magazine or periodical. So that's what's going on here. Aha, the debased form. It's not debased. It's actually the standard horror stories or ghost stories. And therefore, there are our two answers.